Hey guys, um, I'm back. I have been inundated with words from the Lord as well as real life. So uh, I have several messages to get out and I'm just going to do them as rapid fire as I can and um, get them out as quick as I can. So this was 5 30 23 at 11 36 a.m. Uh, the th topics are here, the voice of the Lord, the meek, the tuxedo, and the antichrist, faithful, avoid wrath. Okay, so here's the first one. Hear the voice of the Lord. There is no other God before me. I alone am God. The people in the world move about. They busy themselves with things unimportant. They do not see that the world is about to change. Some will seek me. Others will blame me. I need mine to help the people. When the music changes, pray and seek me and I will guide you to those who need my assistance through you. In some of you, I will work mighty miracles for all to see that I am the Lord God Almighty. For all of my own who seek my face in humility and with true faith, I will do miracles and provide beyond what you ask or imagine. You must testify that I am the source of these provisions or they will be shut off. Be my vessel for those who do not yet believe in me with full faith. My blessed ones, with full faith, you bless me. The joy you bring me in your full persuasion of me is great. You who read my words and obey them, you are to be praised. Rare gems in your generation. Those who can hear me, you know my voice, and none can sway you. You are precious in my sight. You believed when I called. You knew my voice. I long to have your journey over, just a little bit further. In your knowledge of me, which is ignored by many in the church, you will need to help others understand how to hear me. They have been taught not to listen. To be busy. To think if I speak, it must be from the evil one. They are misguided. They need your help. You hear my voice and you can be my hands and feet. Do not be surprised if I bring you those that do not believe I still speak. Be bold. Tell them the truth. Tell them of provisions I have already made. They may not take the truth right away. But when they cry out and I speak, the words you planted can grow into full faith. They can learn to listen knowing they are not isolated. They can hear knowing in these times I choose to speak. Be a willing vessel for me. Your willingness to stand for me can change a life. Do not seek people to share with. Watch as I bring them to those with a willing heart. When Gog comes from the north, I will spare those who are mine. Gog's destruction will be mighty upon the earth, mighty upon the nations. Do not fear. Fear feeds and draws demons to you. Trust me and I will surround you with my mighty angels. You will have perfect peace. Pray continually to me all through the day and the night. This is what the anointed already do and stand in the gap for you. The prayer that will be needed in the near future is continuous, sincere, and filled with my power. Cry out to me and I will answer you. I am the Lord God Almighty. The second one, the meek. The meek follow the Lord. The Lord is about to show up for the meek. Through these meek, People will know I am the Lord God Almighty. The people have come to the point of sleep. They do not expect this. There will be no doubt between free man and slave. Some of you are ready to be used. Your name lifted high like those of the days of old. The earth will see the changes I have. Many will come to me because these ready allow me to use them to show my miracles through them. The third one, the tuxedo and the antichrist. Woe to those who call for the tuxedo to be worn to the party. The party 
is for the Antichrist. The tuxedo is representing that only those in society's elite will be allowed to meet the Antichrist before his time comes to rise up. The Antichrist is on the earth. He has a few more rituals to endure so that he can be inloaded with legions of evil spirits. He will be slick and clever and likable. He will have the spirit of Obama, but he is not Obama. He will be a different man. The Antichrist is not on the public scene yet. He has been crafted from the dead bones of the most evil creature on earth up to this point, Nebo. Dark sentences have been spoken to bring all the evil spirits together into one man. The fools that do this are just pawns in a game that the evil one has made. After the Antichrist comes to power, the evil one will enter him when he is cast to the earth. At this point, woe to the earth. The evil one will be upon the earth like never before seen. The Antichrist, once he is infilled with the evil one, will quickly morph from being likable to hideous and fearful. All will be scared for their lives should he choose them for murder for his pleasure. He will rule with an iron fist and murder his own. His need to be worshipped will be insatiable. He will need true blood of humans to grow in his power. The earth has seen human sacrifice, but never in this way that is to arise. When those that oppose him cannot be found, he will take the lives of his own. Their fear will only feed his power. He will create a society that is proud to turn over those asked for, because they would rather see others murdered than themselves. They do not see that I see this as the same as being a murderer. To turn over an innocent man to be murdered is no better than the one who does the murder for worship. The Antichrist will make many promises, the promises of a better future. But once in power, he will intentionally starve the people and neglect care for their shelter so that he can gain power over them. A hungry man with no shelter is the easiest one to control. He will do almost anything for a morsel of food. Rest assured, my beloved ones will not be here for this. The only people left in this time of tribulation will be those who refuse my free gift of grace through my son Jesus. This is a horrifying time that will be in the tribulation after the worldwide rapture, which is soon approaching. Have hope. Be my examples. Do not be here for these horrifying times. Fourth one. It's um, faithful avoid wrath. The times leading to the great tribulation are upon you. Stand firm. Be sure while mine are here, and even during the war and through the losses, this is not the great tribulation. The great tribulation is for wrath and my own do not deserve my wrath. Some who are here say, but what about the rebels who turn into hiders? Will they not be here for this? Some will. But this is their just consequence for not choosing me before. I have given them so many chances, but I still show mercy on these left behind after the rapture. Those that come to me before the mark of the beast, I will spare them from my wrath. But they will have the natural consequences that result of the wrath I show to the whole world, as well as the pains the Antichrist places upon the world. In this difficult time, I will protect those who come to me. I will provide, just as I provided honey in the rock and water from a stone. Those that die for me as my witnesses will be spared from pain. If you are here when the Antichrist rises and places the whole world under his foot, repent. Stop what you are doing and turn fully to me. The time after the worldwide rapture and before the mark of the beast is very small. 
a choice will have to be made rapidly. Those rebels that come to me, I will lead to hiding places, and I will give them my words. They will hear and read them, and they will quickly memorize them for fear of their Bibles being taken. Christianity will be completely outlawed worldwide. Do not be here for this event. Choose me. Choose me today. I have open arms waiting for you. I want no one to perish, not even one. Hear the words of the Lord. This is true and will come to pass. God.